Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to highlight a bunch of Steam deals that are available right now. Got a couple of new sales running right now, and a lot of these are pertaining to some of the announcements at Gamescom, which, uh, now I don't have a lot of expectations for these events these days, but I gotta say, Gamescom was kind of spicy, and maybe it's just because I wasn't expecting anything, and uh, a lot of the times when I do have expectations, it's like from a Summer Game Fest or like a Video Game Awards show. VG is usually pretty good, but uh, Summer Game Fest, a lot of the times, I feel like I just had way too crazy expectations, and certainly a lot of state of plays, oh my goodness, I really gotta temper my expectations when it comes to PlayStation, but Gamescom didn't have a lot of expectations, a lot of cool stuff was announced, and a lot of these sales, like I mentioned, are pertaining to some of the announced stuff, just a couple of them, but uh, let's get right into it, and let's start off with one of the deals that uh pertain to a gamescom announcement mafia mafia franchise sale is running right now this is a new low on all of these games mafia trilogy is 75 percent off for 14.99 which knocks down you know individually five dollars a pop there's my second grade level math there uh you can individually buy the games mafia definitive edition is 7.99 mafia 2 7.49 and mafia 3 7.49 as well and obviously the big announcement at gamescom or one of them mafia the old country unfortunately very brief Brief trailer we don't have a lot of information but it is going to be a very very gritty game and it's going to be a prequel i believe to the first mafia title coming in 2025 so fingers crossed that 2025 is going to be a new mafia game and a new grand theft auto game yo guys i'm gonna be real i think one of those two is getting delayed whether it be mafia whether it be gta i highly doubt we're getting both those games in the same year i'm always a pessimist but Nevertheless, incredibly excited for Mafia the Old Country, even though Mafia 3 was a game that, you know, not a lot of people were crazy about. I still thought it was a pretty solid game, all things considered. It just had some shortcomings for sure. Uh, still worthwhile to play. Mafia 1, uh, Mafia Definitive Edition, I should say, is a ground-up remake of Mafia 1. Still pretty basic in terms of gameplay. It's, it's perfectly serviceable, but... As far as the narrative goes, voice acting, those elements are strong and the visuals are great as well. Mafia 2, while the definitive edition is kind of mid, um, as far as it being like an upgraded release, Mafia 2 itself is a great game. So that, all three for $14.99 or individually picking them up, those are some great, great deals. All right, after that, I do also want to note that Steam is running a Ukrainian Games Festival sale. A lot of good titles on sale as a part of this, most notably the Stalker franchise. Stalker Trilogy is $9.99. Then you do have a deal on Metro of the Saga Bundle, those are obviously, uh, or I should say that is obviously always going to be an easy recommendation for me. Stalker Bundle, 75% off for $9.99, while the Metro Saga Bundle is $9.06. I mean, that deal on the Metro Saga bundle is just insane, given that you get Metro Exodus, you get Metro Exodus' expansion pass, Metro 2033, and lastly, the Redux versions of those. Now, let's first talk Stalker. Um, Stalker's a great franchise, and it's a core PC franchise where these games for a long time were not even available on consoles and uh, as far as, you know, PC exclusive franchises go, Stalker was one that I gravitated towards. Now, it's also a game that, uh, from a gameplay standpoint, it's going to be a little bit dated. And if you're looking for a lot of accessibility options and, uh, you know, for, uh, user accessibility friendly aspects to Stalker, you're not going to find a lot of that. The game is a little bit more gritty. It's a little bit more on the hardcore side and, um, you know, doesn't hold your hand all that much. But if you want atmospheric post-apocalyptic games, man, Stalker is worthwhile to check out. And $9.99 on all three games, $3.33 a pop. That's a pretty damn good deal, although a Stalker Call of Pripyat and Shadow of Chernobyl are $4.99 a piece, and Clear Sky is typically $2.49. You can buy the games individually, but uh, if you don't have any of them, the bundle's a pretty good shot. And the Metro Saga bundle, great deal here. Love me Metro 2033, uh, love Metro Last Light. Exodus, I thought, was a really solid game as well. And Exodus looks fantastic from a visual standpoint as well. Um, yeah, all that all that content for 906, pretty good. And I say all that content, it's not like these games are super, super lengthy, but they are worthwhile to go through for the length that they do last you know eight eight to ten hours for 2033 and last light so keep that in mind uh but yeah worthwhile there next up dying light franchise sale and we saw the announcement of dying light the beast very excited for dying light the beast a standalone expansion where you do play as kyle crane a legendary hero who breaks free after years of brutal experiments so incredibly exciting stuff. Now, it does look like it's going to be a smaller scale game. I believe it initially started off as an expansion, then they spun it into its entire game. 
Halo 3 ODST style, but I doubt that it's going to be priced at $60 or something like that. Maybe it will. Who knows? If it's expansive enough, that's great. But it does seem like that this is going to be more of a focused Dying Light title. And it does note anyone who purchased the Ultimate Edition of Dying Light 2 Stay Human will receive Dying Light the Beast at no additional charge. So that's incredibly exciting. And they note that it's a tightly crafted open world. Welcome to Caster Woods. This once bustling tourist destination is home to a diminishing number of survivors and an increasing population of zombies featuring natural landmarks, small villages, and industrial complexes. Look, that's Dying Light the Beast, hopefully coming out in 2025, but to talk the deals that are available right now, Dying Light 2 Reloaded Edition is $24. What is the Ultimate Edition discounted at, if it's at, at all? Uh, it's 30% off for $63, so I would imagine Dying Light the Beast is gonna be a $40 release, so... That's just my speculation. It could be cheaper. It could be uh, more expensive. I doubt it's going to be more expensive. But uh, given the price point, $63 is pricey. But if you're baking in Dying Light the Beast, that might be something worthwhile to check out. Uh, Reloaded Edition, $24. Not a bad deal there. Dying Light 1 is $3.99. Following Enhance is $8.99. And Definitive Edition is $9.99. Uh, $9 Even the base game for $3.99 there is a really good shout. Excited to see uh, a big Dying Light release, and really, I, I knew that Dying Light 2 was going to get more content, but this being spun into its own standalone release and being a sizable game, a relatively sizable game, incredibly excited about that, so... We'll see how that turns out. Diablo 4 is 40% off for $29.99. Also enjoying a free play period. I don't know exactly how much content that's going to get you in terms of, uh, you know, how much of it you can play. But 40% off for $29.99. Essentially, that knocks down Diablo 4 to what they value it in the Vessel of Hatred expansion bundle. Because that is being sold for $70. And uh, Vessel of Hatred, obviously, $40. Look, I haven't played Diablo 4 recently, but my boys have been raving about it since some of the recent... Uh, uh, seasons and whatnot. Take that for what you will. Maybe try it for free. And then if you do like a $30 on that. DJ Max Respect V, 80% off for $9.99. Love me some DJ Max. It does have a ridiculous amount of DLC that's to be expected with a game like this, but $9.99 on that. If you like your music rhythm titles, that's one worth checking out. Cassette Beasts is 35% off for $13. Oh boy. This is a game that I feel like a lot of people haven't checked out. Uh, jumped into it recently and Guys, Cassette Beast, yes, it's the Pokemon style creature collecting experience. Awesome soundtrack. The narrative's actually pretty interesting. I love the throwback visual style. If you like that turn-based style of gameplay, you know, the creature collecting and monster collecting, it's not, it's a little bit different than that, but I'm telling you guys, you're gonna have a great time with it. It's got an overwhelmingly positive reception. 6,300 reviews, 95% positive. And the soundtrack is just one of the out of nowhere great soundtracks out of a video game I think I've ever seen. $13 for this is great. Definitely give that a look. So want to give mention to that as well. But that'll do it for me. Again, a lot of great deals available directly on Steam right now. Uh, There's just some of what's available as always, but that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.